when he was releasing the results of the 2022 Uganda Certificate of Education exams last week. Uganda National Examinations Board Executive Secretary Dan Dong observed that the poor performance of science subjects had persisted. He placed particular emphasis on biology. We also observe from the statistics that over 40% of the candidates that have taken these subjects have not passed. Odongo blamed this dismal performance on learners failing the science practicals. This was a point of concern for Education Minister Janet Museveni, who promised to look into the matter. The Ministry of Education and Sports will look into this matter and, where necessary, re examine our policies to address areas of concern in this regard. With this report in mind, NTV reached out to a number of schools to identify what the cause of this poor performance of science subjects could be. Some schools we visited did not have laboratories for the study of science subjects. One of them is Lunio Hill Secondary School in Busia. So we tried to carry those practicals, which where we have the facilities, we have the apparatus. We handle those ones we are able. Due to the absence of a laboratory, the performance of science subjects by the learners in this school is dismal. Science subjects, they move theory and practice. Now when I learn theory and practice, that can learn the sciences. And actually we believe that because of uh, lack of laboratories is actually the cause. At Bukuku Community School in Huyama City, the presence of a science laboratory has been rendered useless by the absence of equipment. We have a makeshift laboratory which sometimes work, works as an examination room. We have to shift some things in and then out to make sure we have either a class or a lab depending on which time. At Mpanga Secondary School, also in Hoima, the small laboratory has made teaching science subjects quite impossible. If it is to be done, then it means there are many days to cover a particular concept. This is coupled with the absence of science teachers. The staff seating is supposed to be 85 teachers, but we have 34 on government payroll, meaning the rest have to be paid by the parents. Most of the chemicals in our lab are expired, mainly because of the long period of, it, of lockdown. These are the sort of challenges that are hindering government's vision of prioritizing and promoting the study of science subjects. The performance remains poor because they have not addressed the issues, which are the issues of the children, the issues of the teachers, the school environment, the laboratories, and the employment structure. Dr. Lubale says government should stop offering lip service and instead avail the much-needed resources to enable the subjects to be taught well. First, is we start with infrastructure. Whether government or private schools, you must have the infrastructure. And then the price of those commodities. If you're going to buy every lab or equipment chemicals, which would cost 10000 or 20 they could be reduced to half of that price. This should be coupled with the retooling and retraining of teachers to make sure they are up to date with the ever-changing science field. It is another thing to study physics and math at Macquarie University and to pass. And it's another thing to translate that math to other people. So the competence of teachers, skilling them, retooling, is equally very important. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.